God says, Heavenly Father, we place all our hopes, dreams, and aspirations in your hands. We trust that you will guide us towards the fulfillment of your perfect will. May we always seek your face, and may our lives be a testament to your boundless love and grace. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. While the Bible contains verses that can be unsettling or evoke fear, it's important to remember that its overall message is one of love, hope, and redemption. Here are 25 verses that some may find scary or intense, but it's crucial to interpret them in the context of the Bible's broader teachings. And anyone not found written in the Book of Life was cast into the lake of fire. And do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul, but rather fear him who is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God, then he will also say to those on the left hand, Depart from me, you cursed, into the everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. I tell you no, but unless you repent you will all likewise perish. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction but the cowardly, unbelieving, abominable, murderers, sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake, which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. But I will show you whom you should fear. Fear him who, after he is killed, has power to cast into hell. Yes, I say to you, fear him and they shall go forth and look upon the corpses of the men who have transgressed against me. For their worm does not die, and their fire is not quenched. They shall be in abhorrence to all flesh. And if your hand or foot causes you to sin, cut it off and cast it from you. It is better for you to enter into life lame or maimed, rather than having two hands or two feet, to be cast into the everlasting fire. Support our community and donate us through super thanks, but a certain fearful expectation of judgment and fiery indignation which will devour the adversaries. These shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of His power. And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. He himself shall also drink of the wine of the wrath of God which is poured out full strength into the cup of his indignation, he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb, and the smoke of their torment ascends forever and ever, and they have no rest day or night, where their worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. But in accordance with your hardness and your impenitent heart, you are treasuring up for yourself wrath in the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God. It's essential to approach these verses with a nuanced understanding, considering the historical, cultural, and theological context. The broader message of the Bible emphasizes God's love, forgiveness, and the offer of eternal life through faith in Jesus Christ. Support our community and donate us through super thanks. Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you.